you know, that's a good question. What isn't different really, right? It's a different country, it's a different culture. Um, so in, uh, you know, in theory, we speak the same language and then in practice, it does sound pretty foreign at times, right? Um, they have different food, they have different architecture, and just the culture is very different uh, from, from ours. Uh, spending time at the pub at all times of day is very commonplace, for instance, right? Um, I would also um, note that uh, people are very polite, but at the same time, I find that they're also pretty straightforward and blunt and actually oftentimes speak their minds. So it's a very interesting combination. It involves not only surrounding yourself with, but also taking part in all aspects of a foreign culture. Uh, so spending time with uh, British people, international people in particular, right? Uh, in this case, I'm thinking of your MPs, I'm thinking of you know staff members, colleagues, I'm thinking of British professors, I'm thinking of uh, you know, sometimes uh, British students, uh, Lord Cormac, if you're going in the summer, uh, really any kind of, you know, any any international or British person you're going to befriend while overseas. Um, so I think that's incredibly important, but then also exploring um, British experiences, um, such as tea time. Uh, tea time is pretty much my favorite, <laughs> but then, you know, also, <laughs> also um, you know, pub culture, uh, as well as holidays or, um, you know, watching uh, English uh, football game. All of this uh, incredibly important uh, for the immersive cultural experience.